，恭喜发财，恭喜发财，恭喜发财 ，Happy Chinese New Year Day。May the year of the metal ox brings you an abundance of happiness, good health, good fortune, and lots of success to you and to your family. Today, I'm going to share a recipe with you. It is a family tradition of my mother. She only makes this once a year. And she will do it only during Chinese New Year. This recipe itself is called Binang Bopia. To make Bopia, we need just a few ingredients. It is simple, but it does require some effort. The most critical ingredient, most important ingredient for making Bopia, is hikama. Now, I have done an earlier video in the past. That video link is below the description of this video or on the top right. And that video itself is fried bangkwang. Now, bangkwang is a Penang Hokkien word. It means hikama, which is this vegetable over here. The other ingredients that we need is carrot. I'm not going to use all the carrot. I'm just going to use maybe half of it. And green beans or string beans. I have about eight of these string beans here. Other ingredient is. A firm tofu, a bit of pork. So I have a small pork meat over here, and some prawns. This prawns right here comes frozen pack, which I have thawed it out in the fridge last night. So that's all the ingredient that we need to make binang popia. I'm boiling one liter of water over here to cook my pork. This is the first thing I'm going to do is to cook my pork. Just add a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna put my pork in. There should be enough carrot. Just want to use a little bit of carrot. Hikama has been washed, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slice this into thin strips. So keep this in the fridge. So the tradition itself for Penang and making popia, I believe it is slowly disappearing. Only few families in Penang are still maintaining the tradition of making popia, and this is one of it, which is my mom's way of making popia. I watched her how to make it last year when I was back home for Chinese New Year, but because I couldn't go back this year. I want to also keep her tradition, so this is the first time I'm making popia. Hopefully, it is 
near as good as hers. I know it's not going to be as good as hers because she has been doing it for years and this is the first time I'm making it. So I'm going to add the tau kwa and all these other three ingredients into the pot right now. Then I'm going to mix it through. It's two hours. I've been simmering my popia filling. So that should be cooked long enough. I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay, I'm going to scoop some of the popia filling into this bowl. I'm ready to make my first popia here in Australia. Again, because I'm not back in Penang, I have to learn how to make my mother traditional popia here in Melbourne myself. We will need a chili sauce. I'm gonna use sriracha chili sauce for the spiciness. And I'm gonna use a sweet bean sauce for the sweetness of the popia and coarse lettuce leaves. And also, I'm gonna use a little bit for some crunchiness. I'm gonna use a little bit of fried shallots. To make my popia, I have to learn how to make my own popia poi. So I have made my own popia poi to go with the popia filling and all these other ingredients. This is my popia poi. I have it in the fridge. So I make quite a few, it's more than 10 wrappers over here. And it's made from plain flour or all purpose flour. I'm making a video for next week. So if you want to know how I make my popia poi, remember to watch my video that will be for next week. So now I'm ready to make my first popia in Australia. Keeping my mother's tradition alive and into the future. My first popia made in Australia. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do like it, remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family. My name is Victor Ku. Thanks for watching. Happy Chinese New Year. For me, this is still good enough for me to enjoy during Chinese New Year to keep my mother's tradition alive and into the future. I'm going to have another piece here.